unknown. I have a very limited time and uh, maybe for 20 minutes or less, um, I'm going to share with you how to partner with God. How to partner with God. And quickly, let's go to Ephesians 2. We are reading verse 10, a very familiar scripture. We are reading verse 10. I am Apostle Maragalala. And may the good God richly bless all of us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And uh, it's a new week. I believe that um, it is all well with you, with your family, ministries, businesses, and all that you are doing. In Jesus' name, God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Okay. Verse 10. We are reading Ephesians 2 verse 10 quickly please and i want to share something there for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus for good works which god prepared beforehand that we should walk in them father we thank you for your way in jesus name amen now the bible says here it it, it put it clear that we are god's workmanship to be God's workmanship simply means to work together. Workmanship, the word workmanship means working together towards same goal. Working together towards same goal. It, it, it is like a man and a woman that are working together towards a goal of... Uh, baby making something like that so this is 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 clear to us that we are in partnership with god it's clear workmanship partnership co cooperation companionship with god if one is to do anything on this planet. One of the major things that we are called for, it is to partner with God. If you are to be fulfilled in whatsoever that you are doing, make sure that you are in partnership with God. Partnering with God Almighty. How blessed it is to be in partnership with God. Partners with God. I have heard people, I have seen posts, I have seen, you know, slogans and say, in partnership with so on and so on, mentioning the name of the company, in partnership with so on and so on, in partnership with so on and so on, meaning anything that is happening here, it is being endorsed by the people that we are in partnership with. It is being supported by the people that we are in partnership with. Now, I'm saying to you today that you are in partnership with God. You are in partnership with God. You are in companionship with God. You are working together with God. Imagine that. Imagine that. Now, the, the other question one can ask is that if you are really in partnership with God, the things that are doing, are these the things that God is doing? Is God in this thing that I am doing as a partner? Hey, partner, let us work here. Hey, partner, let, is God involved in what you are doing? Is God in support with what you are doing? Other thing that I know is that when it comes to partnership and so on, when you are in partnership with a company or individuals, whenever you are, you know, to go on a mission or a vision of some sort, you will, you know, ask their, you know, their, their say, their permission, so to say, you know, and say, hey, I'm engaging in this uh, kind of a project. And they will say, no, 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 we are with you. We support that. Or they will say, no, we don't support what you are doing. We don't support what you are doing. Take our name out of that. We don't support that. We don't support that. 
As partners, we don't support that. We won't send you money because we don't believe in the vision that you're doing. We won't send you this a blessing because we don't believe. It. Now, the one I'm saying is that as partners with God, what we are engaged in is God part of it. Is God part of what you are doing? Does God support what you are doing? Is heaven in support with what you are doing? Do you have the blessing of heaven of in, in what you are doing? Do you have the anointing of heaven in what you are doing? Because God will not support that which is not in line with his vision. God does not support any vision. God do not support anything. He does not just support anything. He support things that are in line with his vision. Partnering with God. Partnership with God. We must learn to be in partnership with God. Now the question will be, if I am to partner with God, what is the vision of God? Because I cannot partner with someone and the person doesn't have their vision. What are we going to do? I want to partner with you. Give us the vision. I want to be partner uh, to what you are doing. What are you doing? What is your mission? What are you pushing? What are you pushing? God, what are you pushing? We want to push the same thing that God is pushing. What is it that God is pushing? Three things are major things that God is pushing that I want to share with you today and I will leave you. Amen. Three major things that God is pushing or three major vision of God. Three major missions of God. What is it that God is doing for you to be able to partner with God? You must know what God is doing. And God is doing these three major things. Among other things that God is doing, he is doing these three major things. And number one, God is in the vision and the mission of soul winning. God wants to bring people back to his kingdom. The vision of God, number one, is to bring people into the kingdom of God. Is to bring mankind into the kingdom of God. Remember, God lost the people because of sin. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden of Eden, God lost humanity. God lost people. God lost mankind. He was separated from mankind. He was separated from mankind. Now, he, he is now in the mission, in the vision of bringing them back. He wants to bring people back. He wants to bring us back. He wants to bring mankind back. He wants to bring men back. He wants to bring women back. He wants to bring children back. That is the vision of God. That is the mission of God. That is what God is doing. To bring people back to his kingdom. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That should not perish but have everlasting life. That is God's vision. Go ye into the world. That is God's vision. Go ye into the world. God is in the vision of winning souls. God is a major soul winner. He's a big soul winner. If you want to cooperate with God, if you want to work with God, if you want to uh, partner with God, you must be a big soul winner, a dedicated soul winner, a committed soul winner. You must, soul, you must win souls at all costs. You must pay any price for souls to be won into the kingdom of God. Because that is the vision of God. That is the vision of God. Soul winning is the vision of God. What is the vision of God, Apostle? Is soul winning. What is God is doing? God is winning souls. God is saving people. In, in, in first, first Timothy, it says, 
pray for all the people, for kings and those that are in leadership so that we may lead in peace and so on and so on. Invest for it, says, so, so that people can come to the knowledge of Christ because that is the will of God. Let me read it. That is the will of God. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. Amen. Let me read it from verse 1. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all who are, who are in high positions, right? That we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way, verse 3. This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior who desire all people to be saved. God's desire is for all people to be saved. That is the vision of God. That is the ambition of God. That is the goal of God. That is the mission of God. That is the vision of God. What is the vision of God? He desire all men to be saved. God want everybody to be saved. God want Sangomas to be saved. God want drunkards to be saved. God want prostitutes to be saved. God want murderers to be saved. God want several killers to be saved. God want us to be saved. Who desires who desires all people to be saved and come to know, or come to the knowledge of the truth. Come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. If you read it further. There is one God. This same God who is one. He wants people to be saved. If you want to want what God wants, you must want people to be saved. If you want to want what God wants, you must want people to come to Christ. If you want to want what God wants, you must want people to be born again. You must, you must want people to come to the light. Because everyone is in the darkness because of sin. We all fell short of the glory because of sin. But when Jesus came, when he died on the cross, it was so that we can come to God, come back to God. That's number one, the vision of God. Number two, Apostle, what is the vision of God? God wants to build his church. That is the vision of God. When God, when everybody is saved, when they are born again, God wants to build his church where they can be discipled. God wants to build the church where the world nations can be discipled. Because in Matthew 28, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. Go and make disciples in Matthew 28, verse 18, 19, and 20. Go and make disciples of all nations. In the church, that is where people are taught the principles of God. We are taught faith. In the church, we are told, you know, the love of God. We are told the anointing of God. We are taught how to live for God, holiness. We are taught grace. We are taught favor and so on and so on. In the church, that is where we are being discipled. And that is the mission of God. God is building the church. In Matthew 16, verse 18, Jesus said, Upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The vision of God is to build the church which the gate of hell shall not prevail against. The vision and the mission of God is to build the church. If you want to cooperate with God, if you want to work with God, if you want to push the vision of God, if you want to push the mission of God, you must push church building. You must be a church builder. You must build the church because Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You cannot be saying, I work with God and you hate the building of the church. If you work with God, you must love the building of the church. You must love church building. You must be a lover of church building. If you want to work with God, because God is in the vision. He is in the mission of building the church. What is God 
God's vision? What is God doing? What is God's mission? God is building the church. The Bible says, and the house of God shall be built upon the mountain. It shall be built on top of the mountain. The house of God. The vision of God is the house of God. The vision of God is the church of God. He said to Moses, when the children of Israel went out, and after all the signs, the plagues and everything in Egypt, the Bible says, God gave them favor that, so that they can get money from the Egyptians. When they got into the wilderness in Exodus chapter 5, God said to Moses, Moses, tell them to give. Tell them to offer. And when they offered, he said to them, he said to Moses, so that they can build me a, a temple, a tabernacle, a church. Let me read it. Exodus 25. I'm, uh, I'm reading verse 8. You can start it from verse 1. Now, because of limited time that I have, I'm just going to read uh, verse 8. The context is from verse 1, when God said to Moses, tell the children of Israel to give, to give bronze, to give gold, to give silver, earrings, and so on and so on. All kinds of offerings that they took from the Egyptians, or that God said they must take from the Egyptians. And he gave them favor so that the Egyptians will not refuse, but give them. So God said they must get that money. And now he's telling them the mission of that money. He's telling them the mission of that money. In verse 8, after he said, let them give and everything, look at the, the mission, the vision in which they were giving for. This is the vision of God. He's revealing his vision. He's revealing his vision. After they are out of Egypt, now he's revealing his vision to them. He's telling them, he's sharing his vision. As a leader, he's sharing his vision. And he says, in verse 8, he says, and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell in their midst. Let them build me a church. Let them build me a church. The vision of God is the church. God is in the vision of building the church. God is in the mission of building the church. God wants to build. Do you want to work with God? Be a church builder. Do you want to partner with God? Be a church builder. Commit yourself to the building of the church. Dedicate yourself to the building of the church. You cannot be saying, I am working with God, and you hate the church. You hate the building of the church. Anywhere you see someone building a sanctuary for God, be part of that. Be part of that. Be part of that. Anywhere you see a man building the church of God to partner with God, partner with that man who is building the church of God. Partner with a man that is winning souls. Partner with a man that is building the church and you are partnering with God. How can I partner with God? Go and get people that are building the church because God is in the vision of building the church so that they can build me a sanctuary. That they can build him a sanctuary. He even called Moses to the mountain. He said, Moses, I want you to go and build me a sanctuary. And you must build according to the pattern which, which I have shown you. I have shown you on the mountain. Build according to the pattern that I have shown you on the mountain. The third vision of God, which is lastly for the day. Maybe we can continue some other time. But let me show you the third thing. Now, the third vision of God. God is in the mission of healing and delivering the sick. Healing and delivering the sick. The Spirit of God is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has anointed me to bring sight to the blind, to take out captives, those who are in captives, to freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah. Amen. God is in the mission and the vision of, 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 of healing and delivering the sick. God wants to heal the sick. Now, if, if you read in Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, I believe. Yes, Matthew chapter 10. The Bible says he, Jesus called the disciples and he anointed them. He gave them power. He gave them anointing. He gave them anointing. He gave them fire. He gave them grace. Now, what was that for? The Bible says, he said to them, go and cast out demons, go and heal the sick. 
In verse 8 he says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons, and raise the dead. That is the vision of God. He was telling them the vision in which he gave them the anointing for. The reason in which he gave them the anointing for. Why God gave them the anointing. So that they can heal the sick. So that they can deliver. Now look at this one. Look at this one. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Acts 10 verse 38. Very powerful. What is the vision of God? The vision of God is to build the church. The vision of God is soul winning. And the vision of God is to heal and deliver the sick. He even said in, 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 in I believe it's in Psalm 107, verse 20. The Bible says, he sent his weight and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. The vision, why God sent the weight, it was to, for the healing and the deliverance of those who are distracted. Those who are oppressed. Those who are under the domain or the dominion of Satan. God sent his way to, to heal them and to deliver them from all their distractions. Acts 10 verse 38, I'm done. My time is gone. How to partner with God? You must understand the vision of God. You cannot partner with God if you don't know the vision of God. You must know the vision of God. Verse 38, look at Acts 10 verse 38. Look at this one. Wow, this one is a bomb, I tell you. It says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all, healing all who were oppressed, healing all who were oppressed. God gave Jesus the anointing to heal all, to heal every sickness, to heal every disease. That is the vision of God. If you want to partner with God, you must be a healer. You must be a healer. You must go around and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Go and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. He even gave you the name. He gave you the name of Jesus to heal the sick. He gave you the anointing to heal the sick. He gave you the fire to heal the sick. Partnering with God. Hallelujah. I am Apostle Maragalala of Faith Arena Ministries International uh, with the headquarters here in Mukopani and uh, I am here to say we welcome you and uh, God bless you, God enrich you, God anoint you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the good God richly bless you. We salute you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you and please if you need any prayer, uh, you want me to pray with you, you want me to agree with you for any miracle, any healing, and so on, if anything that you need from God, please don't hesitate to call or WhatsApp me on 072-264-0222. I repeat the number, 072-264-0222. And may the good God richly bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We appreciate you guys. We love you and uh, may the good God richly bless you and increase you in everything that you are doing in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you until we meet again. Apostle Marakalala of Faith Arena Ministries International.